Thanks for watching this video. This is Mr. Bowman, and in this video, we're going to talk about counting techniques. So, the purpose of talking about this to our Algebra 2 Honors students is that many of you are going to move on to a course somewhere in the future that involves some probability. And in probability, we want to be able to talk about sample spaces. So, a probability experiment is quite simply the one single trial of a process that involves chance. Suppose I flip a coin, or suppose that I roll a pair of two dice, numbered one through six on each, or spin a wheel. Uh, each of those trials involves chance. And the set of all of the possible outcomes of a probability experiment is what we call a sample space. Our goal today is to determine the size of this sample space. Let's practice determining a couple of sample spaces here. Uh, let's suppose, look at A, we're going to roll a fair six-sided die once. The sample space itself is a set. Sets in mathematics are written using those brackets. And what we want to list is all of the possible outcomes. What are the possible outcomes if you roll a six-sided die once? Well, you could get a one, or you could get a two, or a three, or a four, or a five, or a six. That set there is the entire set of possible outcomes. Suppose, looking at B, you flip a fair coin twice. What are the sets of possible outcomes here? You know, the fact that I'm flipping it twice means that my outcomes should kind of have two components to it. So I think what I want to do here is I want to write the outcomes as ordered pairs, uh, where like the first input into the ordered pair would be the first outcome, and the second input would be the second outcome. So let's see if we can list the set here. One possibility would be if I do heads the first time, and then heads the second time as well. Another possibility would be if I do heads for my first input and tails for the second. Another possibility would be if I did tails first time and tails second time. And the only other possibility I believe is if I got tails the first time and heads the second time. So these four ordered pairs are the four outcomes. This sample set, uh, space has a set, uh, has a size of four. There are four outcomes to this experiment. When you study probability, one of the things that you will want to determine for an experiment is what the likelihood is that one of those outcomes occurs. Uh, and frankly, if we had more time together this year, ordinarily we, we would have uh, d dove into that some, but unfortunately the constraints of uh, spring of 2020 are not allowing it. Okay, here is what we call the fundamental counting principle. And it says simply this, if event M can occur in M ways, in other words, if there are M ways, that something can happen. And then event n, a different event, can occur in lowercase n number of ways. Then the event of m and then n can occur in m times n ways. In other words, what I'm saying here is if I need a sequence of events to happen, and I know how many ways each of those singular events can happen, all I need to do to determine the number of possible outcomes for that sequence of events is to multiply the numbers that I know. Let's work through an example together. A shoe manufacturer makes black, brown, and blue shoes. In nine different sizes each. The question is, how many different shoes does the manufacturer make? So I want to think about this problem this way. I need to choose, I'm, I'm making blanks here to fill in. I need to choose a color of shoe. 
and then I need to multiply that number of ways I can choose a color by the number of sizes that are made. So what I want to think about is how many ways can I choose a color and then once I've chosen a color, how many sizes can I choose? Well, how many ways can I choose a color? I've got black, brown, or blue to choose from. I think I can choose three ways or three different colors. For each of those colors, how many different sizes can be made? Well, there are nine of them. So the answer to the question, how many different shoes does the manufacturer make? 27 shoes, 27 different shoes. Each of those nine sizes can be made in black, brown, or blue. Thanks for watching.